Good morning. Right now I'm in the Rockridge area of Oakland, which is near, not too far from Berkeley. Um, I'm out to get some breakfast. So I'm gonna show you one of the best places to get breakfast. So their menu has all kinds of delicious stuff on it, but I'm a two egg bacon and toast kind of dude with some black coffee, no cream, no sugar. Um, but you'll see all kinds of delicious stuff on the menu. That's it for now, you don't mind. Hi, good morning. Welcome. <laughs> they never let my cup go empty. So in the Rockridge area, you got nice little shops, beautiful homes. nice to come down here take a stroll go shopping sit outside at the cafe people watch whatever it is that you do Got bars sports bars all kinds of stuff Oakland California I'm out here Lake Merritt. It's been a little under two years since I was last out here. Um, I spent a little bit of time living out here and I enjoy my time out here. And it's good to see cities alive, people out and about and recovering from the uh, pandemic. Because last time I was out here, October 2020, Let's say 2020, but October 2020, things were different. It was a really, really somber mood, but it's not like that anymore. Assalamu alaikum. You got any questions? Uh, no, I'm good, bro. All right, we got uh, all right, Um. Take a look at the menu. You choose your size and then you uh, choose the sauce and the style of pizza you want. Yo, that pizza, like no cap, best pizza I've ever had. For real? Lake Merrick's a nice little spot. People like to come out here, um, put their blankets on the grass, read, relax, and so on. Nice little spot. located in Oakland, California at 634 Grand Avenue. We are a luxury clothing store brand, so we have streetwear, any type of clothing you desire. Come check us out. Thank you. This is one of the hard things to see in California. There's so many people who are displaced and, um, you know, they have to live in tents on the sidewalk, or like this fella who is under a blanket and on a, on a couch or, or whatever, a sofa. And that's really hard to see. And you know, I wish that 
more can be done. They say that things are being done for these people, but I wish even more can be done. Um, I don't know what it is. Taxes are already high here. Um, and there's nonprofits that are helping out, but what else can be done to help these people so they don't have to live like that? ago you can watch my videos um, I have moved from California and I went to Dubai now I'm back in the US and I had to make a trip out here to California to take care of some things part of that is you know just exploring see what it's like post pandemic it's a completely different world but this city it's little but it's big it's authentic. One of the most authentic cities in the world. I mean, there's so much to it. That's why I said, what can I say about this place? Because whatever I say, what it, the little bit, the, the minuscule things I'll say about this place, uh, I'll be leaving out so much because the history of this place is that rich. Discovered in that little bathroom the world that would make my mouth
So hey guys, right now I'm in West Oakland and I wanted to check out the area um, where I used to live. I used to live in this building right over here on Campbell Street. And um, when I lived here, this park right here, right behind me, used to be filled with um, tents and people who were displaced homeless people. And um, over there, I just drove through this area over there, um, there's a really big homeless encampment. And then along this um, street over here, on the other side of the park, uh, there used to be some RVs. So I'm just curious of how the situation has changed. So like I said, this park is empty now, but I did notice that there are a lot more RVs um, parked along that street. And then I can't really tell if the homeless encampment over there is, is um, better or worse. The thing that, it, that that's interesting is that, um, how do I say it? Um, some of those people over there, you know, they have jobs, they have cars and stuff like that. It's just that they couldn't afford the, the cost of living here. So they end up um, over there because they're basically pushed out of their, their homes. But I was just curious of what it's like now, if it's gotten worse because of the pandemic um, and you know, the economic situation or if it's, and you know, anything's changed and it's gotten better. Like for example, they've gotten people off the streets. So um, it doesn't look any better, it doesn't look any, any worse, but I was just curious about that. So I wanted to run through my own stomping ground and just see how things were. So there's the good and the bad. We took a tour through some of the depressed parts of Oakland and now we're in a new part. Um, we're in Jack London Square and the first place we pop out in front of is Yoshi's. So Yoshi's is a landmark, a historic place. I don't really think they're known for their food. They're known for um, the concerts they have here. They're like jazz concerts. A lot of musicians come through, um, as you can see. They have a pretty hefty lineup of all kinds of groups. Look, there's um, Ruben Studdard. Um, who else on here do I know? Duele. Oh, you're good, you're good. If you rightly guess, Jack London Square is named after the author Jack London. Over there is the San Francisco Bay Ferry. You can hop on the ferry over there and um, you can commute over to San Francisco using that ferry. It's a much more convenient option than um, getting on the 880 and trying to cross over the, the Bay Bridge into San Francisco. So a lot of people will use that to go to work or they'll catch the, the BART train. And then over there is um, Scott's Seafood, popular restaurant that people like to, to eat at. 
Um, I think it's a train because there's a few of them. There's one in San Francisco. I mean, sorry, there's one in San Jose. There may be one in San Francisco, but I'm, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, a lot of people like to eat at Scott's Seafood. So Jack London Square is not that big. I just passed through it in a couple of minutes. Most importantly, they have social activities there so you can hang out, have some food, and grab drinks, people watch, walk by the water, or um, if you have a boat, come out to the marina, chill on your boat. So I got these boats out here as you see. It's a nice little spot come out here once in a while. So behind me is Jack London's cabin. So the story is that a businessman went up to Alaska where Jack Lund London spent a winter. I think it was 1897 to 1898. And um, the businessman authenticated that it was Jack London's actual cabin. And the way he did that was um, there was a signature scribbled by Jack London on the ceiling of the cabin. Of the cabin. And then he had some um, local authorities also authenticate so um, after that, he had the cabin packed up, and um, after he did that, the Port of Oakland, they purchased it, had the material shipped here, and they built that from the authentic material of Jack London's cabin. And then the other portion of the material went to, uh, I think it's called Dawson's Creek in, in Canada. And so they put that there, and they called it Jack London Square. There's like, you know, different installations of arts and crafts from the 90s, like TV shows, music videos, video games, like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Space Jam, Super Mario. Essentially, you just come in, take pictures, and have fun with friends, man. Dope, man. Yes, Appreciate it.